baseline data is not only for behavior reduction programs. So many times I go into a program and I see skill acquisition programs being run really beautifully, but there was no baseline data taken. I'm wondering, is this okay or not okay? Hi, I'm Shana, and together with my partner, Shira, we are How To ABA. We're behavior analysts who create weekly content about how to teach children with autism so that they make real progress. And we create shareable resources to make your job just a little easier. Today's topic is all about skill acquisition baseline data. And if you want more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on new video releases. So my daughter had a class ski trip this winter, and at the very beginning of the day, every student was required to ski down the small beginner hill. And the ski instructor stood at the bottom of the hill to watch every kid go down. And you know, if they could turn and if they could make a hockey stop, then they got a little sticker that meant that they could go on the larger chairlift. Um, in a way, that's really a baseline for skill acquisition. It's a baseline to see where their skiing ability is at, and it's the safe thing to do. So why do we run baselines in the first place and what are they and how do we do it? Um, baselines are really just a quick check of skill. Do they have it? Do they not have it? Um, in skill acquisition programs, we typically run baselines at the beginning of a program. So for instance, if I'm introducing, um, I don't know, let's say a tax color program or a, a labels color program, um, I am going to quickly see if the student I'm working with knows any of their colors already. So, you know, I'll hold up each color and all I'm going to say is what color, what color, what color. Um, these baselines don't have to go on forever. They don't have to run for multiple days on end. It is really just a quick check of the student's ability. Now, if the student doesn't know any of their colors, this baseline can literally be 30 seconds. What color doesn't know that one? What color doesn't know that one? What doesn't color doesn't know that one? Okay, 0% move on. I should say during a baseline, you're not reinforcing. So if a student, you know, hold up color pink and the student, you say what color and the student says pink, you're not saying, wow, that's great, it's pink. You're gonna say what color, they say pink. You're gonna say, Clap your hands. Wow, great job. You clapped your hands. So you can reinforce during baselines for other activities, but you're not reinforcing for the correct response for whatever you're testing. So if the student doesn't know anything, what color, what color, what color, 30 seconds, your baseline is 0%, move on. If your student does have some colors, so for instance, they know red, yellow, and green, um, then you say, okay, great, they, they know red, yellow, green. I don't need to teach red, yellow, and green. I can move on to blue, orange, and purple, um, or whatever colors you're teaching next. So baseline is a really great way of not wasting students' time. You can test to see if they know certain things already, and then you don't need to teach those things. You don't need to waste your time on them. I think the only other thing that I really wanna say about skill acquisition baseline is, like I said, it should be really quick. If a student doesn't know it, do a few trials and, and get it out of there, move on, get, get onto the teaching. You know, If a student does know it, you may need to test a little bit. Um, and then you want to start teaching that same day that you've done the baseline. You don't need to wait another day and they don't need to wait another day after that, after you've done pre-tests and all that kind of stuff. Get teaching. These students need lots and lots of teaching. So get teaching. Um, so like I said, baselines are supposed to be quick. Um, and that's that. For more information on skill acquisition baseline data, click the link in and around this video or the description to claim your free baseline data reference guide. We also encourage you to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any future videos and leave a like and comment below if you have further questions.